Okay, here's part two of our tour. Introducing a controller that actually finally works now. The Cross Signs SVA 110. My camera will stay in focus. Let's take a look inside. You guys can see what's going on here. So Basically, it's like a cross signs PCE or PCN style controller with the uh, camshaft inside, but instead of using like a solid state dial, or I mean not a solid state, a mechanical dial, it uses vacuum tubes and like a resistor capacitor circuit to set timing. So you can see all these dials here is how you set the timing. Those are actually resistors, variable resistors. And so by adjusting those, you change the amount of time that different intervals take. And the camshaft is really different too. If you look at the schematic, there's all kinds of different intervals and things to make it all work right. Of course, it is an actuated controller. And the way I actuate mine, you see this little cigar box down here, it's got a relay in it, which is connected to this motion detector up here. You can hear it clicking. And the motion detector is what calls the controller. The other controller here, you will get to in a minute here. Um, but you can see this comes out. There's the back panel with all the equipment. You can see those two silver things over there. Those are two relays. And uh, one of them, I forget what exactly it's for, but the other one is for this thing they call mutual coordination. It basically means you'd have an adjacent SVA 110 controller and you connect the mutual coordination output of one controller to the input of another and vice versa. And so if one controller gets a call, basically they'll hold each other until they sort of basically would change at the same time. I obviously only have one SVA110 controller. So what I did is I connected the mutual coordination output of the SVA110 to the dial one, he's only using one dial, dial one offset one input of this this Econolite Type F controller. So if the SVA is holding on the side street for a long time, it'll make the Type F stop until it catches up. And then I connect to the mutual coordination of the SVA, uh, the input to the green output of the Type F. So basically, when the Type F is in Main Street Green, the SVA will wait to change to Side Street Green until. So basically, they change yellow red on the Main Street simultaneously in most cases, which is pretty cool. So I still have to do some work on this controller. I need to build the two relays here for the uh, change dials and do some other work. Also, my harness for my flash timer fell apart a little bit so I had to work on that but I have the mechanical flasher and everything and so it's generally coming together in here. We'll get this closed back up. So the Type F controls the two signals here in the kitchen as you can see here. I've got a nice uh, Cross Science Art Deco and a really interesting color scheme. Um, black doors and silver body. I don't really know why it was painted that way, but it was done by a city apparently, but it used to be yellow as you can see sort of in the grooves there. And I still don't have a green smiley for it, so put in that broad arrow. I know, such a shame. Um, and I have this lovely GE round body up here, which is one of my favorites. These are actually the two lights that my fiance actually really likes, believe it or not. So I guess I lucked out on that one. Um, then down here, we have the two master controllers. Now on the top is an ASC2N, as you see by Econolite. That is the master that sends commands to the ASC8000 controller you saw in the other room, the so-called playroom. Um, I basically just hooked up a really long phone line to connect them. And then it's connected uh, to a computer, which I'll get to in a second. And then below here is the KMC8000 master from the mid 80s I'd say and it actually doesn't isn't connected to anything right now uh, in terms of like a controller but 
Eventually I'm going to build a special circuit to make it coordinate these mechanical controllers, but that's another project. It'll be far into the future, I imagine. So, anyway, but it's pretty fun to look at. They are both connected to my server computer over here behind me, uh, running the uh, Econolite Ares software, which is their old central like closed-loop system management software. So, for some reason it took me like two days to get the serial cables right, but that's just because I'm sort of a dunce at making serial cables apparently. So, that's the story there. Now, on to one other special thing. My spare cabinets. As you see, once the camera focuses, it looks like a KS cabinet, but I don't have a KS controller in it. So, I had a new idea. Laker cabinet. It's perfect, right? We think it's quite handy. And it's bolted to this uh, little cabinet down below so it doesn't fall over, and it's very stable and great for parties. Nobody gets into your liquor if you don't want them to. He's in a standard police door key here, so. And then here in the other room, I have another cabinet. This big Kraus Heinz used to be like a three phase solid state controller long ago. When I got it, it had an Inicondolite KFD controller in it, but that didn't work out, so now it's a DVD cabinet. This was also something that the fiancé thought was a great idea. And if you check this out, I did a little reverse engineering, and it's got lighting! So I took out the mushroom fan, but I had to leave the top part, so it's just there. There's no fan in there or anything, but built some shelving on the inside, and it's pretty neat. So. That's how that all worked out. Oh, except some of my glue's falling down, but I'll fix that in a moment. So, that concludes the tour for now. Hopefully, uh, you enjoyed everything. So all that noise you hear is my upstairs neighbors. They decided to walk around a lot today. Also, I should note that the phase on the four-way that's currently green is the, quote, main street of the SVA. And the phase you can see far away in the kitchen there that's red is the main street on the Econolite. Looks a little weird, I guess, when you think about it, but it makes sense given the fact that usually we're always walking from, you know, somewhere else in the apartment to the kitchen and back and forth. So, it works out. Anyway, that's the story.